Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Meridian Television Station. Here's the news today. The Vietnamese economy in the first six months of this year has been described as a mid picture, with both positive aspects and challenges. However, Vietnam remains a reliable destination for supply chain integration and attracting foreign direct investing. According to economic experts, despite the slower economic growth in the first half of the year, foreign direct investment has not been significantly affected, indicating that foreign investors still hold a positive long-term outlook for Vietnam. FBI Enterprise in Vietnam also appreciate the open business environment, particularly the free trade agreement with the EU-China, the comprehensive and progressive agreement of Trans-Pacific Partnership, making Vietnam an attractive option. Additionally, the stable political system is also advantage. These factors not only boost Vietnam economy, but also position the country well in the global value chain. According to the General Statistics Office, the Consumer Price Index in July rose by over 45 percent compared to the previous month. The main reason for the increase was higher price of food, household electricity, and household appliances due to increased demand during the tourist seasons. Among the 11 groups of goods and services, China experienced price increase, while one group saw a decrease. The core inflation in July, excluding fluid prices, rose by over 36 percent compared to June and increased by 4.11 percent compared to the same period last year. The average core inflation for the first seven months of 2023 increased by 4.65 percent compared to the same period in 2022, exceeding the overall CBI row rate. The retail sales of goods and consumer service revenue in July are estimated at 512.2 trillion Vietnam dong, an increase of 1.1% compared to the previous month, and a 7.1% increase compared to the same period last year. The Bin Hoa chapter of the Vietnam Lao Friendship Association in the non following recently organized a cultural and associate exchange with the students studying at Ferrup University in the city of Binh Hoa. The chapters had 36 members, all of whom have a background of working and fighting in both Laos and Vietnam. Lately, they have been actively promoting dissemination and education of special friendship and solidarity. Between Vietnam and Laos, the association engaged in conversation with young students Lao exchange student in Dom Nai, sharing their experience of fighting and serving a volunteer in Laos during war. Additionally, the chapter visits encourage and gives 10 Lao students study in the province. On this occasion, the chapter also introduced a poetry collection titled Tham Tân Hữu Nghị Việt Lao, which was composed by its member. Police at record official reported that at least 42 people were killed and 130 others injured when a suicide bomber detonated explosives at a political rally in the Khyber political province of northwestern Pakistan yesterday. The explosion occurred during the gathering of the hardline Islamic party, Jamia Ulama Islam Fars, in Bazu district near the border with Afghanistan. Maluna Fazureham, the leader of this party, he considers a cleric support in the Taliban. Emergencies have been declared at hospital in Baisu and neighboring areas, where more of the injured were taken. Among the fatality were local party leader Maulana Zilab. The police chief cited the attack as a suicide bombing. Pakistan has witnessed an increase in attack by Islamic militants since last year when the case fight between the Taliban and the Islamabad government were broken. 
Israeli Foreign Minister Bezonim Natazahu held a meeting with the security official yesterday to discuss the escalating tensions with Hezbollah at the northern border region. The meeting came after several videos circulated on social media showing Hezbollah supporters crossing the blue line which served as the border between Israel and Lebanon in the village of Gaza. Hezbollah confirmed that the individual were marching to protest Israel's occupation of the village. For over two months, approximately 30 Hezbollah militants has crossed the blue line and set up two temporary tents on Mount Dove. Israel claimed these tents are on Israeli territory and has requested the interventions of the United Nations to compel Hezbollah to remove them. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.